Hello everyone and welcome back to DBX Labs. Now I've been pretty busy for the past month or so and I haven't been able to do a really long project that I could publish. I've been working on the synthesis of sodium that was outlined by Nerd Rage using dioxane, but that synthesis has taken some turns with the weather and with various other problems I've had and I figure I'll work on that for another month or so before uploading a video on it. On the other hand, I haven't shown you guys this brand new electrical furnace that I've acquired through the help of my Patreon supporters. So I figure today we'll take a look at that and we'll melt down some copper for future use. So this is a 1400 watt 2 auto electrical furnace and it gets up to about 1150 degrees Celsius, which is hot enough to melt aluminum, gold, silver, uh, zinc. Uh, really, most metals that you throw in here will melt besides steel, iron, and really anything higher than gold. It also will melt copper, which is useful for us because uh, I could use some copper in the future for various, for various shaped things. Since we're melting copper, I'm going to turn it on and set it at 1,100 degrees Celsius. And now that it's heating up, it should take about maybe 30 minutes or so to get up over 950 degrees Celsius, which is what we need to melt the copper. All of these pennies are from before 1982, so they are mostly copper with a small percentage contributing to zinc. It's set up, so I'm going to close the ceramic lid on it, and we'll come back in a half an hour and see what temperature it's at. Okay, I'm back after about half an hour of heating. We're now at 1,087 degrees Celsius, and I've risen the temperature we're aiming for up to the max, which is 1,150. I put this graphite crucible on top just to preheat it. This is what we're going to cast into, so we don't want any water that's residual in there. Otherwise, the copper will splatter as soon as it hits it. If we open up the furnace, we see that it is quite literally red hot. And if we poke it around, it's definitely not molten yet. I think that uh, there's a good amount of copper that is already molten, but we'll let the, the top copper melt down before we do anything with it. I'll give it another four or five minutes and it should be ready to go. It's been a few minutes, so let's check it out. Well, it isn't molten yet. I think I saw a blue flame of carbon monoxide when I opened it, so. Not the best thing to breathe right around the furnace with the graphite crucible. Give it another minute or two. Well, if you couldn't tell already, it's been a little bit longer than a couple minutes. I forgot about this and just came out right now. So it's been around 45 minutes and how is it not molten? That should be molten. Oh, now it's molten. Now it's molten. There's some molten copper.
And here's our heavy brick of copper. We'll throw in some water and cool it down. So here's our brick of copper, and it's pretty apparent that there was some zinc in the furnace uh, or somewhere in the setup at one point because this is obviously brass. So not entirely pure, but we do have a chunk of mostly copper, which will work for most of my purposes. And that's pretty much all I wanted to do with this video, so I'll catch you guys in the next one.